Hey guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you all already know what this video is. I'm not editing this video. I don't have notes. This is just going to be me speaking from my heart and how I feel about all of this. You guys already know what it is. <laughs> so, I just want to say a few things before I actually get into this. I know that there's going to be a lot of people that try to misconstrue 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 the things that I say here in this video. There's already one drama channel or whatever you want to call that channel. I don't know what it is yet. He talks about sex. He talks about all these different things and <laughs> he uploaded a video basically like trying to like side with someone that he has already like <laughs> shit on this whole past week with videos and things like that and I just want to say keep that same energy if you feel some kind of way about someone don't turn around and just because you dislike someone else that has not even done shit to you why would you make a video defending somebody that you actually do not know you have never had any kind of interaction with you have not spoken to at all whatsoever that makes absolutely no sense at all to me why people on the internet specifically like I get that you have like this emotional connection with people and you feel like you know them and 99.9% .9 of the time what you see is what you get but there's that 1% that 0.1% where you don't and if somebody is friends with someone <laughs> and they say they feel a way about something that has happened there is a reason behind that and I think that it's gross that stands people that follow people blindly just go with whatever they say 100% <laughs> of the time they try to invalidate the way you feel when they in fact don't know anything personal about these people they just know what is being shared on camera and literally if you guys have not seen everything that has ever happened on youtube people can portray one thing and be totally something different um we've all seen that we've definitely seen it with manny <laughs> there's no hiding that there's no camouflaging that like so many people came out and spoke about manny and it just baffles my mind that people will just like blindly follow people and then when somebody speaks up or says something they like try to discredit the way someone feels when they in fact do not know why this person feels the way they feel and I'm going to explain myself in this video the best way that I possibly can on why I feel the way I feel particularly about Peter now you guys know I have been ride or die with Peter for a very long time. <laughs> I've gotten to many internet battles with many different people on many different social media platforms over Peter. <sighs> like, I just want to say that this video in no way is me like trying to come for Peter. This is just me vocalizing how I feel because I can do that on my channel. And if you don't like it, if you do not like me speaking about somebody that you stand. That is fine. You don't have to watch me. I am not in any way going to beg anybody to stay subscribed to this channel out of me being a friend with someone that they like. I'm just not about that life. I'm not <laughs> about all of these numbers. Yes, it is great to see my numbers rise on Social Blade, but at the end of the day, I would rather be honest and real with who I am and keep the same energy throughout everything then be fake. I'm not fake. I win nothing by being fake. <sighs> okay. So, I don't even know how to get into this. This stretches so far back. Okay. We have to go back to last December. When all this stuff happened, it was horrible, and I always will stand by everything that I said in my videos about Peter with this whole John Cookian thing. Like, I know that what John Cookian was saying was a total lie. I do. However, there was one particular instance with Peter that bothered me to my core. And for those of you who are being like, oh, well, you, you're coming on here and you're making a video about this. Why didn't you go directly to Peter? I have went directly to Peter. I have told him exactly how I felt. And I'm going to say almost exactly what I told him 
<laughs> in my text messages to him because they were so lengthy. So before you come for me and say, why didn't you just speak to him? I have. This is just me vocalizing for you guys, letting you know the background on why I feel the way I feel about the tweets that I put out yesterday. And no, I was not that drunk. <laughs> I had one margarita. I was just feeling some kind of way, okay? <laughs> but back in December, you guys know that myself, Peter, and a few other channels, we were saying if you did not speak up about what John Cookian was doing, especially Rich Lux, because everybody thought that he had like this friendship with him, and he did, but they're not friends anymore. <clears throat> I actually commented on the video that Rich Lux posted, and I was like, thank you. I don't even remember the full context, but it was very short. It was something to the effect of, Thank you for sharing your truth and being honest. Rich was crying in the video. I felt horrible for him. So I was like, just like, thank you. Rich commented back to me. It was like, thank you. It means so much for you to be here. Da, 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 da. I then went to Twitter because you guys know I'm always on Twitter. I always share everything on Twitter. And basically I was just like, I think I added Rich Lux. I may not, but I tweeted his video and I said, thank you for being open and honest. Something to that effect. I can't remember. I get a phone call from Peter Mon, and when I tell you that Peter Mon was pissed off at me, he was pissed off at me. And let me tell you why he was pissed off at me. Because he said it sounded like myself, Sam, and him were not all on the same page, and that I should have ran what I was going to tweet or what I was going to say either on Rich's comment section or on Twitter by him first, because that can make us all look bad. I didn't know that I had to run how I felt or run the way that I interpreted what Rich said by Peter. I didn't know that my social media account was Peter's for him to dictate what I was going to say or anything like that. If it did not directly have an at at him, which it didn't, if it did not directly say his name, it didn't. It, it would not affect him in any way. Um, so there's that. To feel like you're friends with someone and them say to you you should run something by them before you tweet it out on your social media that is i i can't even begin to explain how that made me feel i felt like almost like i was being manipulated almost as if i was being told well, i was being told what to do on my social media this is my platform. I can run my shit how I want to run my shit. And it's not up to anyone to tell me how I should feel or what I should do on my social media. So there's that. Flash forward from December. It was like the end of January, February. You guys know that I was going back and forth with Stephen Mango. Okay. Steven Mango was making all these videos about drama channels. He dragged me. I lost a shit ton of subscribers. A lot of people felt a way about me when they actually, like, they were believing everything that this guy was saying. And he was saying that I was getting makeup sent by Gerard Cosmetics. You guys know I don't wear makeup. I've been buying it recently because I think it's interesting. But at this time, I had nothing to do with makeup. Like, I talked about makeup. I knew about makeup. As far as, like, owning makeup, I owned not zero. But, he made this video about Gerard Cosmetics, and Jen Gerard with her stalker, and I thought it was completely out of line, because I have a cousin that was murdered by her ex-husband turned stalker. I made a video about it, I spoke out about it. A lot of people came for me. A lot of people came for me. And then, he put out this other video where he talked to think about me, Sanders Kennedy, and Sam. I was like 60% of the video where he talked about me. Okay, like, I was getting a massive, massive amount of hate from this video that Mango put up on his channel. And I kept continually losing subscribers. And, you know, as a friend, I have made so many different videos, tweets, and everything, like I said, about Peter defending him to people. Okay? And it wasn't because I felt like I had to. I felt like it was my place as a friend because if I see somebody in, their sh in the street and I don't even know them getting their ass whooped, I'm going to jump in. I'm just that type of person. I'm a hands-on type of person. If I see somebody that is like 
going through it, I'm going to do whatever I can to help them, especially if it was my friend. Especially if I knew that what this person was saying about them was not true. Okay, so I figured that as a friend, Peter would have my back. He didn't. He didn't. Literally, what he did, like, and I get that it's his social media platform or whatever. Like, it literally took me arguing with Peter to get him to even acknowledge it. And he said, well, I said something about it in a live stream. I'm like, Peter, a live stream is not the same as you making a video or even mentioning it in another video that you would post on your channel, okay? It's not the same. That would be like all these beauty gurus making these Twitter apologies when they said something fucked up on YouTube, okay? So, it was not the same. Peter did not go to bat for me at all. What he did was basically befriend Mango. Like, I know that they don't talk, but he wanted to keep it cordial. And that gets me into my next thing. And I'm not cutting this video. I'm reaching over to get a sip of soda because my throat is getting dry already. <laughs> oh, I hope y'all don't see my fat ass. Okay, where was I? Backtrack. I just completely lost my train of thought. We talked about Mango and all of that. Da 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 da. They became friends. They didn't really talk. Where was I? I'm horrible at these unedited videos, you guys, but... <sighs> okay. Him and Mango became friends. Okay, this is it. Okay. So, I never... The thing in December, like, Peter said he was sorry for. If you guys know Peter, in his videos, he says that he does not say he's sorry. He says that he apologizes because sorry doesn't mean anything. If sorry doesn't mean anything, why when you and I argue and I call you out on your inconsistencies, do you tell me that you're sorry? I don't understand why you could say one thing to your audience of a hundred and something thousand people and say sorry doesn't mean anything, that just means please forget what I did and let's move on, but you will say I'm sorry on the telephone with me. So, there's that. I asked Peter, as a friend, I was just like, why will you not, like, say anything to defend me? Like, Peter, I've, like, done all this for you. I've been there for you as a friend the best way that I knew how. I've always, always, always had your back. Never one time ever changing up how I feel about you as a friend. Why can't you have my back? He says to me, is a business decision, and Dustin, this is business and I'm not going to say much more than that, but that hurt. I didn't know that as like, like I get that this is a business and this is how you make your money, this is how you pay your bills and all that stuff, but for somebody that has been a friend to you, somebody that has literally done shit for you, like literally, I've made your merch. I made all of your merch, except for like this new stuff that you're coming out with where the fonts don't match. I made your merch for you. I didn't request you pay me for it. Any of that. None of that. I have edited videos for you. I've made thumbnails for you, much like I have everybody else on this platform that I'm friends with. I do that because I'm a friend to these people. I love interacting with the people. And you guys can set up and say what you want about me. I have always tried to be like 100 with all of these people. I've never lied to any of these people. I've never said anything to one person that I wouldn't say to another person. I've never done that. But when he said that this was a business decision and that one, he didn't want to give Mango a platform, I kind of understand that. But the massive amount of hate that I was getting at this point in time was so immense. I have never in the history of my channel lost the amount of subscribers that I lost then. I have never ever got the amount of hate that I got then. It was constant. I was inundated on Twitter with tweets from people defending Steven. I was inundated on fucking YouTube with my comment section. Like it just would not stop. It just would not stop. And then I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff. I can't remember now. So we fell out over that. And he said he was sorry, da 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 da. Well, flash forward now, 
well, maybe a week or so ago, all these tweets about Peter come out. And I'm like, okay, what you said is not good. <laughs> Not good at all, and I, I like I can't like not say anything about this. Like I have to say something about this because once again, as his friend, people are like, "Well, why won't you say anything? Why won't you make a video? Why won't you do this? Why won't you do that?" I'm just like, I had already told Peter how I felt about the tweets. I like I already told him. I made that video about Jaclyn Hill, and literally like the first eight minutes of it was me talking about my friendship with Peter how he's a good person and ultimately I do believe that Peter is a good person. I just feel like he has tendencies to lash on to other people and try to like socially climb them. I'm just gonna say it, he does. <clears throat> so I made that video about Jaclyn Hill and I talked about Peter like 80% of the video, 90% of the video. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. And literally, you know what Peter says to me? He says, your video didn't do me any favors. He said, I would rather you not make a video, but if you have to, I understand. So, I told him, I was like, well, I was being a shady bitch to him because I was pissed. I was like, you know what, it's a business decision. I have to do this. When in reality, I was doing it because I felt like I needed to talk about it because if I can talk about everybody else, I can talk about him. It's not that deep. Um, I'm your friend, and I said in that video that I went directly to him. Anytime that I have a problem with Peter, I go directly to him. Like, you might see a shady tweet, but <laughs> I go directly to Peter and say literally everything that I say <laughs> and more to Peter. Because I feel like a friendship, you try to handle things privately. So, that's what I did. The fact that he would tell me that the video that you made about me didn't do any favors for me. I didn't know that I had to do you any favors, Peter. I didn't know that as a friend, that I had to do you favors. I've done you plenty of favors. <laughs> like I just said, made your merch, I've edited videos for you, I've made thumbnails for you. I've given you, like, very good content ideas. You always say I'm, like, the first with the drama. And for those of you that don't believe that, like, I could literally make a video every single day with the shit that I find on the internet. Multiple drama channels get some of their shit from me. <laughs> I'm so sick of fucking people, like, because I'm the underdog and I've always been, like, it's always been the hardest for me. I've always had the most to lose and the hardest fucking hill to climb. It's always been that way with me. People shit on me, they shit talk me. I don't know why. But, I mean, everybody, like, apparently people just don't like me. And that's fine. There's a lot of people that do like me. There's a lot more people that don't like me. That's fine. <sighs> but him saying that that video didn't do me any favors really pissed me off. We got into it. We've argued about it. He basically cried and said, I'm sorry. Again, with the I'm sorry's, I don't really understand why you're saying you're sorry. Because you're telling your audience that you don't say you're sorry because it doesn't mean anything. So as a friend, are you telling me that you're sorry and it really doesn't mean anything? Or do you really believe that you saying you apologize is the effective way for you to apologize? I don't get it. Keep the same energy. Don't be somebody on camera that you are not somebody off camera and act like you're this real person because you've said that you're the realest person on YouTube. Don't. If you're going to be real, be real. And being real does not consist of you being somebody on the phone and then being somebody else on the camera to appease your audience. That's not how this works. That is not how any of this works. <laughs> okay. So, I don't even really know if I should talk about this. Because it's, like, I know, like, all the details about it, but... <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna do it. I don't know, it's like 19 minutes and 38 seconds right now. So, if my camera cuts off, I'll start like a new thing. Okay, so, I can't give names. I cannot give names, but Peter and another channel, we're going to collab with another channel. And this is a massive 
channel. A massive channel, like a humongous channel. Okay. All I heard about was this collab, 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 collab. I can't do this collab because da -da 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 -da, because this person ain't gonna do this and this person doesn't do this and this person isn't willing to do this to get this collab and I need this collab, 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 collab. I got so sick of hearing about it and this went on for like a week or two. Peter and this other person were supposed to go somewhere and film a collab with somebody that has a shit ton of subscribers. Sorry guys, the winds are picking up here. I don't know what the hell just happened. But it ended up not happening. And from that point, I don't even remember the time frame. That's literally all I heard about. And from that collab not working up until now, all I've heard is collab with another person. Now, I want to say, I told Peter about Amelia Fart. You guys know that Peter has wrote Amelia Fart's coattails as far as like, Collab, collab, collab. Peter will get on Twitter and he'll tweet at Chris Crocker, Amelia Fart, Raw Beauty Christie. Continually, Shane Dawson. Like, he met Shane Dawson, but he didn't get a collab with Shane Dawson. And he will, like, just put this out. Like, I feel like when you do a collab with somebody, you want it to be organic. I don't feel like you should have to tweet at them. It looks thirsty. It looks so fucking thirsty. For you to continually tweet at these people, thirsty ass tweets. Thirsty. Like, he'll tweet at Amelia Fart, he'll tweet at Raw Beauty Christie. I told him about Amelia Fart. I've told him about Chelsea Lynn, he loves to talk about her. I told him about Raw Beauty Christie, that I loved her so much. He was supposed to collab with her, it hasn't happened. I've heard about that. Amelia Fart, the same thing, it hasn't happened. So, to me, as a smaller influencer that is this guy's friend, I feel as if it's not just about friendship, not even friendship. I feel like he's constantly chasing people to try to collab with, to grow his numbers, to be this mega YouTuber, okay? So, yesterday, and I like, I just have to put this in here for context. I seen that Rich Lux tweeted at Jeffree Star, and Peter has tweeted at Jeffree Star numerous times. He tweeted about him yesterday, but he tweeted, Rich said, thank you for helping me get to 200,000 subscribers. Uh, I was like, okay, cool, that's cool. That, that, that's not thirsty, that's him like thanking him, like you know what I'm saying? He's already like collabed with him, whatever, and it happened organically. And then I see that Jeffrey tweets back to him, he's like, I love you so much, we'll go shopping when you come to LA. You guys, my camera is going to cut off now, it's like blinking. Well, I think I got like 45 seconds. I'll go ahead and end this, and then I'll start the next part of this video. Alright. So, Jeffrey tweeted back to fucking Rich Lux, whatever. I then see Peter go right behind and tweet at Jeffrey talking about, I can't even remember what it was about. It was like, well, I'm on your payroll. And Jeffrey Star tweeted back and said, I thought free healthcare was enough. And then Peter said something about Red Bull. It's always this continued pattern with Peter trying to get in on this action with these bigger YouTubers. It happens with James Charles, it happens with Raw Beauty Christie, it happens with Amelia Fart, so on and so forth. And if you guys don't see that, you're crazy. It's happened with uh, fucking Chris Crocker. He's openly asked him for a collab. He's done this numerous times, okay? So you have to understand what that looks like to me. So when this whole thing happened yesterday with Sam, we all know that Jaclyn Hill is like Sam's thing. Sam has talked about Jaclyn Hill for a very long time and I don't like I'm not saying that that makes her like the end all be all Jaclyn Hill. I'm just saying that we like we as friends what you don't know Sam has been working on this for a very very long time and I know that Peter knows this has been working on this video about Jaclyn Hill for such a fucking long time. And then she's t teamed up with T-Spill and they're like working their asses off to make this video about Jaclyn Hill. And then Jaclyn Hill tweets this out. And Peter wanted to insert himself in that. 
he told Zim it was shady. It was it was him trying to throw shade. That was not that was not throwing shade. That was him hoping, in my opinion, that Jacqueline would reach out to him, and she did. She did. He knew that would happen. So, from remember, fuck. <laughs> Peter was supposed to collab with this other channel and they were supposed to collab with this massive channel. It was going to be like an interview type of situation and it didn't work. So I can't help but think that maybe Peter thought that that was how he was going to get in on the situation and like steal Sam's thunder, okay? Um, so with that said, Jacqueline DM'd Peter and was like, you know what? You're more than welcome to come as well. An hour later, after I had already, like, fucking, like, went in on Peter, direct text messages, he responds back and was like, I would never, I would never do that. But, had I not have said anything, had Sam not said anything, you knew you would get this reaction, why would you do that? Why... Would you insert yourself in somebody else's moment? Why would you look so thirsty as to go to tweet at someone that you know, you know a video, a humongous video is being made about, about an interview? Because the original, the original collab that was supposed to happen was supposed to involve you with another humongous YouTuber and another YouTuber. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you go to those lengths? Do, like, if this does not add up for you guys, I cannot make you understand what I'm saying. I cannot make you see what I'm trying to paint in this picture for you. I just cannot. I have been friends with Peter for like two years now. I love Peter to death. I don't ever want Peter to go through anything that would hurt him or anything like that. I just want him to remain teachable. And for him to say one thing on camera and say that he's real and this and that and the other, but to show me something differently while we're on the phone or in his actions, in his tweets to other people, I'm not okay with that. I'm not cool with that. I think that you need to remain consistent <laughs> in who you are. If you're going to be fake, that's fine. Just say that you're fake. You cannot put a blanket statement out saying that you're the most hypocritical person on YouTube. That is not a defense. That does not in any way cover your ass as far as you doing shitty things behind the scenes or saying things behind the scenes and then doing something differently or how you treat your friends. It does not work that way. If you're going to sit on here and give life advice to remain teachable and all of this different shit to your people that you influence daily, the people that defend you mercilessly to people like me when I have a tiff with you, it's not right. And if you're going to be fake, just say that you're fake. Just own what you are. Own your truth. Is that not what you say all the time? Own your truth. That's just all I'm saying. I don't want to stop being Peter's friend, but I may have to, like, distance myself from him as far as, like, talking to him every day and all of that because I, like, I am not in the middle headspace to have to, like, run any of my thoughts by anyone or the whole thing with, like, Peter... He used to say that I'm messy on Twitter. Like, I don't ever really say anything too terrible on Twitter. But the fact that he wanted to say I'm messy on Twitter, I don't have tweets like he did. Totally fucking hypocritical. And I know, like, after all this video, if you guys sat through it, you're gonna fucking hate me. Because you probably came from Peter's channel, but the fact that he would throw up in my face that he shouted me out in an argument, I never asked him for that. I never fucking asked him for that. The only thing that I've ever tried to do was be his friend. And I've been, like, fucking emotionally, like, 
beat up <laughs> being his friend because the inconsistencies and in him not willing to step up to bat for me the way I was for him or anything like that. But I'm not trying to sway anybody on, on this whole like fucking video. This is just why I feel the way I feel and why I tweeted what I tweeted. You can take from it what you want. Don't try to read between the lines because what I said in this video is what it is. Uh, if you feel like you cannot support me or subscribe to me after this video because your love for Peter, that's fine. That's fine. Support who you want to support. I just say that you need to be aware of who you're supporting and why you're supporting them. It's just that simple. Keep that same energy. If you're going to be this person and say you're this real, be that person and be that real. You get what I'm saying? But you guys, I've got to go. The winds are picking up here, and I'm gonna, I don't even know if I'll fucking upload this, because, like, what's the point? <laughs> but, anyway, bye. That's, that's it. Bye.